So what are margins for in InDesign? Well, margins are here to give the edge of your paper some space. A margin, what is a margin? Margins are this pink line that goes around the outside of your document. So the outside box, right? Now we can adjust margins and columns. In this case, I'll individually adjust this page by going up to layout, margins, and columns. Columns are these spaces here, right? Where columns of text would go. Margins is essentially the outer edge, right? The bounding box of, it, it's only a guide, but it shows you how close to the edge you are. Now you can adjust these individually. So I could have a margin from the top of three inches compared to the rest, right? But if I don't want that, generally, maybe I want just uh, the same margin all the way around. I can make that adjustment here. Now, this just gives me a guide to where I want to place text or the, like the closest I want to place text or images to the edge of my paper. And then once you have those margins created, your columns are going to be based off of that. They're going to exist inside of the margin. So margins essentially affect the limits of where those columns are spaced out and also give you a guide to align objects to or make sure you create your elements within a safe distance from the edge of the page. And that's what margins are and what they're used for here in Adobe InDesign.